Zebra, what are you doing? Hacking. Are you a nasty zebra? Yes. <laughs> well done, zebra. Let's break some networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement dynamic op inspection. Dynamic op inspection stops attacks such as op poisoning and man in the middle attacks. In a previous video, which I've linked here and below, I showed you how to use Kali or Kali Linux if you prefer to implement a man in the middle attack by poisoning the ARP caches of devices. We had Kali poisoning the ARP cache of a Windows device and a Cisco router, and then implementing a man in the middle attack where all traffic from that Windows host to its default gateway, the Cisco router was routed or switched in this case through the Kali Linux host. So Kali was able to see all the traffic from Windows to the router and Windows to the internet as an example. We were able to capture Telnet passwords and HTTP passwords. You shouldn't be using clear text protocols in your network today. So you shouldn't be using protocols such as HTTP or Telnet. But if someone did use clear text passwords, I'd have visibility of those passwords and have visibility of the data because all traffic is sent through the Kali Linux host, which in this case implemented a man in the middle attack. We can stop that kind of nonsense by implementing dynamic op inspection. Dynamic op inspection requires either DHCP snooping or that you manually configure MAC addresses. The switch is basically snooping or listening in on DHCP requests from hosts or devices to the DHCP server, and then is creating dynamically when using DHCP snooping, a MAC address to IP address mapping to an interface. So it says this MAC address, this IP address, belongs on this interface. If you change your MAC address, that traffic is denied. And I'm gonna demonstrate that using Kali Linux in this video. So I'm going to show you how you can implement DHCP snooping, dynamic op inspection, and then stop Kali from sending traffic when it changes its MAC address. So we're gonna stop our poisoning attacks. Now to make it easier, I've added this presentation below this video. This presentation shows you the network that I'm using, and then shows you how to configure dynamic op inspection. So I've got links in here to Cisco and other websites that give you more information, but I also show you how to configure both DHCP snooping as well as dynamic op inspection. So in this video, I'm gonna show you in quite a lot of detail how this all works. Use the menu here to jump to a specific topic if you want to. So I'm gonna show you how to set up DHCP snooping, but I've covered that once again in this video. So if you just wanna see the dynamic op inspection part of the video, then jump to the specific timestamp of interest. I've included this once again below this video. This presentation shows you how to set this up, how to verify it on a Cisco switch. Okay, but before we get started, if you enjoy these types of videos, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and please click on the bell to get notifications. It really does help me with a YouTube algorithm if you subscribe and like my videos. So if you don't mind doing that, if you enjoy this content, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so let me show you how to set up dynamic op inspection. Now the first thing we need to do is enable DHCP snooping. Now I've covered this in a lot of detail in a previous video. So all I'm gonna do here is copy and paste the commands into the switch. Have a look at this video if you wanna look at a DHCP snooping video that discusses this in a lot of detail. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is copy the commands from this presentation and paste the commands on our switch. Now in our topology, once again, we've got a Cisco router. This router is configured with a DHCP server. So let's view that first. Here's the router. Show run pipe begin DHCP. That just allows me to filter the configuration until the keyword DHCP is found. So there's the command. Here's my DHCP pool. You can see the network used is 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Default router or default gateway is the local router. A DNS server is set to Google. 
the router has this IP address, 10.1.1.254, configured on gigabit 00. So this interface is configured with the IP address 10.1.1.254, and the router is allocating IP addresses to devices. And we can see that by typing show IP DHCP binding, we can see that two devices have received IP addresses. This is the IP address allocated to Kali Linux. This is the IP address allocated to the Windows computer. We can verify that by using the command IP address on Kali. Notice there's the IP address allocated to the Kali Linux host. And on the Windows computer, I'll open up a CMD prompt. IP config. This is the IP address of the Windows computer. So the DHCP server has been configured. It's allocating IP addresses to the devices in the network. What we need to do now is configure DHCP snooping. On the switch at the moment, no DHCP snooping has been enabled. So you can see that no DHCP commands have been enabled and we haven't enabled dynamic op inspection. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is copy the DHCP snooping commands to the switch. So I'll paste those in. And you can see here that DHCP snooping has been enabled globally. It's been enabled for VLAN one. We've disabled option 82 and the command show IP DHCP snooping shows us that DHCP snooping is now enabled on VLAN one. No trusted ports have been configured yet. Now, once again, I've shown you previously how to configure DHCP snooping and I've explained it in a lot of detail. So I'm not doing that here. Okay, the next step is to configure trusted ports. In my topology, gigabit 00 is a trusted port. Okay, so in my topology, gigabit 00 is the interface that connects to the router. The router is running the DHCP service. It's allocating IP addresses. We wanna trust this DHCP server. We don't wanna trust this Kali Linux host as a DHCP server. So back on the switch, I'm gonna paste those commands. Gigabit 00 is now a trusted interface. Show IP DHCP snooping. We can see that Gigabit 00 is now a trusted interface. Now we can also rate a limit DHCP requests to stop a denial of service attack. So I'm going to rate limit DHCP messages to 10 packets per second on Gigabit 01 which is the interface connecting me to the Kali Linux host. Again, I've explained that in a lot of detail in the previous video. So I'll paste that in. Got to type conf t first. So try that again. There we go. So show run interface gigabit zero zero. We are trusting this interface. We are not trusting this interface. This interface gigabit zero one is being rate limited. Zero zero is being trusted. Okay, now that I've configured DHCP snooping, I can configure dynamic op inspection. Dynamic op inspection is fairly simple to configure what we're going to do is configure it globally on the switch by using the command IP op inspection VLAN one. So conf t IP op inspection, specify the VLAN. In my example, it's VLAN one because all ports on the switch are currently configured in VLAN one. Now, typically in the real world, you wouldn't put your devices in VLAN one, you would put them in a different VLAN. Now notice what's happening. We are already seeing invalid op messages received on gigabit 02. That is the Windows host. We are not trusting 
anyone at the moment. We are basically blocking all traffic. So the Windows host is trying to get to its default gateway. So it's trying to get to 10.1.1.254. There's the IP address of the Windows host, MAC address of the Windows host, trying to get to its default gateway and the traffic is being denied. We can see that as an example on the Windows PC. If I try and ping the router, it's not gonna work. Traffic is denied. And actually, let me demonstrate this. I'm going to remove dynamic op inspection. So it's removed. And what you'll notice is the PC, the Windows PC can ping the router. But what you'll also notice is the Kali Linux host can ping the PC, which we don't want it to do, and it can ping the router. So Kali can ping both the Windows PC as well as the router. But as soon as we enable dynamic op inspection, we basically break the network because notice traffic from 10.1.1.2 to 10.1.1.100 is being denied because now when we try and ping, say the Windows host, the traffic is denied. Kali is not able to ping the Windows host and it's not able to ping its default gateway. The Windows host can't get to its default gateway. That's a problem. We want it to be able to talk to its default gateway. So what we're gonna do is set gigabit zero zero as a trusted port. That's the port connecting us to the router. So on the switch, interface gigabit zero zero, IP op inspection. I'll just use question mark again, trust. We're going to trust that interface. So show run interface gigabit zero zero. This command shows us that this interface is trusted for DHCP snooping as well as for op inspection. So now, can the Windows PC ping the router? At the moment, we can see that it can't. We're still getting a whole bunch of denies on the switch. Show IP DHCP snooping. Let's look at the bindings. Notice the problem. There are no DHCP bindings at the moment. We are relying on the DHCP bindings database to implement dynamic op inspection. We need to have the bindings in the database for dynamic op inspection to work. So we're constantly getting these denies at the moment because there is no entry in the DHCP snooping database. So I'm gonna type ipconfig slash release to release my IP address. And then I'm gonna type renew to renew the IP address on the Windows computer. It's now being given this IP address. Back on the switch, show IP DHCP snooping binding. We can see that this MAC address has been given this IP address. And we can see that via DHCP snooping on VLAN one, the interface where that host resides is gigabit 02. So back on the Windows PC, can it now ping its default gateway? And the answer is yes, it can. So remember, because we're using DHCP snooping, the PCs have to request IP addresses and those IP addresses have to be allocated through DHCP. We've got to have DHCP snooping listening in on the conversation, seeing that the router allocates the IP address to the PC and then because of that, the DHCP snooping database is built and dynamic op inspection can leverage that database to permit devices. So again, on the switch, show IP DHCP snooping binding. We can see that this IP address was allocated to this MAC address on this interface. Now Kali can still not ping the default gateway because an IP address hasn't been added to the DHCP snooping database. So what I'm gonna do is edit connections in Kali. I'm gonna to go to IP version four settings, disable the interface. 
go back and get it to use DHCP. ifconfig shows us that it's got its IP address. Show IP DHCP binding on the switch. You can see that this IP address has been allocated to this MAC address, which is the Kali Linux host. MAC address ends in 5A00, which is what we see over here. So can the Kali Linux host ping the default gateway? Yes, it can. So on the switch, once again, show IP DHCP snooping binding. We can see that two IP addresses have been allocated to specific MAC addresses. Show IP ARP inspection. So there's the command again. We can see that it's enabled for VLAN 1. So many packets have been dropped. Now on Kelly, once again, ifconfig shows me that this is the MAC address of the host, ending in 5A00. On the switch, show IP DHCP snooping database. That MAC address has been allocated this IP address. Kali can ping default gateway. Once again, that IP address, this MAC address. Now I'm gonna change the MAC address by using Mac Changer. Mac Changer tells us that we can see the MAC address by using S as an option, and then we can create a random MAC address using dash R or hyphen R. So Mac Changer dash S Ethernet zero. That's the current MAC address. That's the permanent MAC address. Scrolling up once again. That's the MAC address that we saw previously with ifconfig. So let's create a random MAC address. MAC address we've been told is now this. So ifconfig shows us that that is the new MAC address that we've been given, random MAC address. Can we ping the default gateway? Answer is no, we can't. and we're seeing a lot of denies on the switch. You can't just create some random MAC address or try and implement ARP spoofing or ARP poisoning because we've now got dynamic ARP inspection enabled on the switch. And I'll just stop that ping on Kali. The only MAC address that's allowed is that MAC address on interface gigabit 01. This MAC address is permitted on gigabit 02. So by randomly changing my MAC address using MAC changer from this address to this address, traffic is now being denied. It also stops someone from using an application such as Etacap to poison the ARP caches. So again, previously I showed you how to use Etacap to poison hosts on the network. So if I try and scan for hosts now, that traffic is gonna be denied by the switch because of dynamic ARP inspection. I can't implement ARP poisoning by using Etacap, unlike previously when I demonstrated it in this video, because we've got dynamic ARP inspection enabled. Okay, very long video once again, but hopefully I've shown you clearly how to set up a dynamic ARP inspection and how to test it. You can once again download this presentation if you wanna have a summary of what we've done and you wanna keep this as a reference. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It really does help me. Please like this video and please click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. It really does help me when you subscribe, like, and click on the bell. I've been in